right house of pain fans go ahead and like the video let's try to get to 50 likes on this one hit the bell icon and select all that way you're notified whenever i post content hit subscribe so well uh, we can hit a million subscribers someday and finally follow me on my social media platforms links are in the description below um yeah in last week it was okay l l let's go to back to the beginning uh during the first episode when they had the opening credits it was um shown that janine would be a guest star this season as opposed to a series regular and people were like whoa okay demetria i hope i said her name right would you know is probably busy with other projects explaining why she's only a guest appearance which people did point out well jeremy go back to the og house of pain series in a way she was a recurring character or guest star back then because remember janine walked out on the family because of her addiction and then she eventually came back for for a while she only showed up in small doses no pun intended and i'm like hmm yeah that that makes sense but um it seems like jasmine and janine have apparently been written off for i don't know how long but um i did look it up and yeah uh, assisted living and house of pain are actually i'm sorry i actually hit the wrong button here on my computer i was looking at bruh instead of um house of pain here but if memory serves i do believe that house of pain season nine and it, sorry about the clicking but i have to look this up to be sure but um i believe that both house of pain and assisted living are 24 episodes each in terms of length which would make them the same length of episodes as bruh and ruthless on bet plus uh so in any case i don't know how long they're going to be gone but i think in terms of the story it was stated by cj that janine took jasmine since they don't want to be involved with the drama and they went to their grandparents or i guess you could say that janine and um jasmine went to janine's grandmother's or basically janine's parents if you will just went to um janine's parents house and I'm questioning a lot of things about that. I mean, I'm not saying CJ is going to cheat, but it was an interesting scene. All right, let me just say one thing. I did like that little moment where Ella was like, you need to uh, teach um, Lisa and Malik, you know, about how it isn't easy to have kids. So have them watch the twins and give them a taste of what it's like to be parents. And I like that. Hopefully that's a good plot point in the near future. But OK, put it this way. Um. Let, let me just speak specifically to the ladies here, because this is a good example. So let me let's just say that, you know, you have you you and your husband at home. Your son comes in from college with a pregnant stripper and they need to move into your house. You Do you decide to take one of your children and rush away to your parents house, leaving your husband alone with your two youngest children your oldest son and his pregnant stripper girlfriend what kind of sense does that make i mean because with jasmine it's to my knowledge it's unclear about whether or not she is staying on a college campus or if she is i guess you could say uh commuting where she's staying at her parents house and then she goes to campus and then comes back home or whatever so it's unknown if, you know, Jasmine's just away for a while with her mom. I'm very confused about what exactly is going on. But it I mean, just saying that, oh, they're going away for a few days or the weekend. But the way CJ made it seem is like, oh, uh, Janine and Jasmine are gone because they don't want to be caught up in this, own, this drama with Malik. And it's like that doesn't make a lot of sense i think that was a flimsy reason i think that again the wording could have been something along the lines of um they're going to check on janine's mom stay with her catch up because it's been a while and they'll be back next week or something that's one thing but to just say man they ain't want to be caught up in this drama so they just left it makes little to no sense to me so it seems like based on the upcoming episode titles for this week we're definitely going to have a lot of focus on Calvin and Miranda. But in episode 10, something's rotten. Jasmine gets candid with Ella about wanting to have sex for the first time. So, I mean, I, does this mean that um, Jasmine's coming back? And it's like, oh, so Auntie Ella, I was talking with uh, 
you know, my boyfriend and this and that. I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. But uh, uh, Caleb, right? Caleb, the pastor's son. So I feel like Jasmine is going to be coming back because, again, that makes sense continuity wise, I guess. But Janine, her being at her mother's house. OK, let's just roll with that. But. Yeah, people were asking me my thoughts on that one line of dialogue, but I just don't think it made sense because even Ella was like, she left you here alone with her? And yeah, I, I, yeah, that makes, mm, I don't know. But uh, I mean, it's kind of funny. Imagine Ella, no, I don't even think I want to imagine Ella leaving. Let's say that Malik and Lisa were staying with Curtis and Ella and then Ella decided to leave town and leave Curtis alone with Lisa. That wouldn't happen. That would not happen. Curtis is like the master Roshi or of uh, House of Pain right now. And it's ridiculous. But let me know your thoughts on the com comment section below. Um, based on the synopsis, Jasmine is coming back this week. But Janine, I have no idea when she's going to be back. So with that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you would like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal, Cash App, or join Patreon for as little as $1 a month.